Yo, 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 yo. If you're here watching this, it means that you have watched the four part series of the Spitznare tutorial series. Now we are here talking about lip rolls and really directly transitioning, directly transitioning why learning lip rolls on both sides is so important is because we're able to solve many issues with beatbox, right? And let me explain. Having strength on the left side for lip rolls is gonna enhance and give us strength for this kind of roll. And on the right side. It is extremely important to learn lip rolls on both sides because, right, for the reason to increase the strength of the spit snare rolls on the right side. On the left side. On the right side. And on the left side. And also, it is important to learn lip rolls on both sides because the issues that arise, if there are certain beats, if there are certain flows that are not obtainable, that are, you know, our mind cannot wrap our, our, our head around, we can practice lip rolls on both sides to get to the right flow, to get to the right beat that we want. Also, because beatboxers are evolving consistently, because beatboxers are ever evolving, Right, because beatboxers metamorphosis, SLC of metamorphosis, how to rapidly speed up, quicker, faster automation, cyber, gargoyle, and just Sith, X cybernetic mutation, hashtag. It is that the fact that my mouth and, and mind, right, sometimes my mind cannot keep up with my mouth. So I, I call this the vocal box, right? This is the vocal box. Sometimes my mind cannot keep up with my vocal box. Sometimes my vocal box moves faster than my mind. And if that's the case, if there are certain beats, if there are certain flows that I want to achieve that my body and my vocal box want to achieve because my mind cannot catch up, right? And I'm moving faster and my vocal box is moving faster than my brain can catch up to, what's gonna happen is to get the specific flow, to get the flow that I want, to get the beat that I want, to, to get the flow that I want, to get the flow that I want, I will just use any part of the vocal box to achieve that, right? So if I'm doing a bunch of, you know, case snares on one side, <laughs> see that, how that zipper sound? <laughs> I, I learned it on both sides for that reason. Sometimes if I'm doing case snares on my left side, <laughs> I'll do the zipper on the left side. Sometimes if I'm doing my case snare on the right side, <laughs> I'll do the zipper on the right side. It's just more accessible, it's already there. And this tutorial again for lip rolls is, let's say I'm doing a spit snare roll on the right side. It's already there. I can just immediately go right into lip rolls. Right there on the right side. If I'm doing spit snare rolls on the left side, it's already there. I don't need to transfer from different sides. It's gonna take time, right? And as a beatboxer, again, the ideas that my vocal box are happening faster than my brain can catch up to. So if that's the case, then the flow that I want, I will use anything at any capacity, right? Sacrificing my vocal box for the flow. Sacrificing my vocal box for the flow that I want to create, for the flow that my body wants to create. Right? So everyone, this is part one of the liberal tutorial series.